Hello again. I want to talk about the next stage in the evolution of my 650 GT. Um, I have decided to reduce the bike's weight further. To be specific, it's unsprung weight. I have embarked on a project uh, I know 99% of you won't want to do because it's expensive. But I'm the crazy one percenter. Uh, I have had the OEM uh, front and rear axles, their spacers, washers, etc., remanufactured in titanium. Um, it's as strong as steel, but it's 40% lighter and beautifully corrosion resistant. So they look good forever. Anyway, I will show you what I've done. What I've used is a uh, titanium grade 5 rod um, and had. Uh, an engineer remanufacture the or copy the all the bits and pieces to do with the front and rear axles. Okay, uh, I'll just show you the complete axle assemblies with spacers, washers, nuts, and everything. This one is the rear factory one OEM. Okay, you can see it's 738 grams. Um, this one is the, the remanufactured one. I can just get it to st stay still. No, it's not. As you can see, it's 446. Um, it's all beautifully done. Uh, I bought the nut that was off the market, but it saves a fair bit of weight. This is the OEM front one. 556. The remanufactured front one. Oh. 312 um. so if I put the, the factory front and rear one on with the pinch bolt that comes out of the bottom of the forks um, and turn it on Three hundred and fifteen grams. Uh, Seven seventy for the replacements. Uh, I'd have to do a quick calculation, but that's a saving of about five fifty. Um, as you can see, these are really nicely made. Um, so we'll now install them. Okay, it's a bit fiddly getting. The axle back in I didn't um, film that but um, with titanium you need to use an anti-seize grease so I've got that on the thread okay uh, and we're going to torque it up which I'll show okay. you in a minute Both the axles have to be tensioned up to 70 newton meters. So, okay. That's one. Front axle is the same. <laughs> 